Thanks for sticking around. Sean Armstead from Phenomenal Fitness is here with some guests to demonstrate a few modified movements that everyone can do. First of all, Linda, thanks for coming in. We appreciate that. I'm going to say you're 70 years old as of February 9th. You just started working out three years ago. That's correct. What have you? What differences have you seen? Uh, phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so much better. I feel stronger. I don't get so out of breath uh, when I'm exerting myself. Uh -huh. And I had some issues with uh, arthritis in my knees. I don't feel that anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I live by myself. I take care of a house, and there's work to do. And you had to get strong for that, right? So she's the perfect it. example of an older person who'd never worked out before, and then she became. You, she was frail before. You say now she's strong. To be perfectly honest, it was she. She her profile was was slender and frail. Okay. But she had a wonderful attitude. We developed a really powerful rapport and a um, camaraderie and a collaboration. Gotcha. Okay. So what's she gonna do today? She's gonna do a deadlift. And it addresses common corpus of dysfunction in terms of sitting a lot and weak backside. Okay. But, and um, she can do a lot, lot more than this, but it's convenient to bring a lighter one. Yes, okay. Here we go. Deadlift. That's 26. It's for the lower body, but it's the primary target are the glutes, the backside butt muscles, leg muscles, as it gets heavier, grip, and then stability core work. So her spine needs not to move at all. We need movement from the hip joint then secondary to the knee joint, and then a distant third, the ankle joint. So now she said she had arthritic knees, but this is okay for that? Yes, because it's what we consider to be a hip-dominant move, and she can do it with even less knee bending, right. which loads the knees less, but yeah. it brings some of those important knee muscles with it. Now, folks at home, this is a 26-pound kettlebell. Who, if they don't have kettlebells at home, what can they use? A great move to work the backside. If you don't have a kettlebell to start the process of working your butt muscles, I see. Floor bridges, different variations of floor bridges. And that's doing the same thing. It's doing a similar thing. We, mm -hmm. in fact, we started her off with that. Gotcha, and just progressed to because that. Because this takes skill to develop. Because right. you have to dissociate, keeping this still, keeping this moving, keeping the pelvis moving back, and the knees not moving forward. Gotcha. So we, it's like crawl, walk, run. Okay, you could drop that. Lightly. <laughs> and then you brought in a little trampoline. What's that for? It's for balance. It's for conditioning. It's for leg strength. It wouldn't be leg strength for me, but leg strength for Linda when she first started. And it's leg strength if you combine it with the deadlift, if you combine it with other things. Right. Okay. Now, I must admit, Linda is not that comfortable doing this, but part of the journey <laughs> is being in awkward situations right. and overcoming them. Right. Okay. okay. Let's just jog. So we got fast, medium, slow. You're jogging. Oh, see. Oh, so see. I'm jogging. Oh, hot, no. Do the jumps. Do the jumps. Do the jumps. Oh, she's ready. Okay. And that's keeping her balanced. It's balanced. Yeah. It's <laughs> leg power. Right. It's leg endurance. Right. It's um, coordination. Mm -hmm. Now going to the run. And it's also cardio. It's major cardio. Yeah. And it's a special type of cardio. It's that anaerobic, high intensity, yeah. low duration. People think running, that's the only thing you can do for cardio, but it so isn't. So not just that, because this is for bone density development. Now, now try and to this take is it low side impact to side. Too, lower than exactly. running. Exactly. Which would be good for her knees, right? Absolutely. Because the knees need some love, they need some nurturing, yeah. therefore stress, but not too much. They need right. to be able to overcome it and come back stronger. Look at you, Linda. You're nice jamming. Job, Linda. <laughs> so three years later, how do you feel? Great. Great. Wonderful. Say I love it. That. Thank you, Linda. Now we've got another young lady. Okay. Linda, you want to go over there and we'll have Wanda come up. Now, Wanda, you have some issues as well because you were telling me you had some glute issues and some other things, and, and this helps you help to get you strong and kind of overcome those things? Absolutely. And not only that, it's helped me through my shoulder rehab. I had a situation where I went to the physical therapist who made contact with Sean and Phenomenal, mm -hmm. and um, they collaborated on my re rehab. So working together, Correct. it, it kind of works. And it also is a stress manager for you, too. Oh, my God, yes. I had some unbelievable stress, and so being able to get into the gym and work with Sean and, and another trainer right. who was able to help me manage it. Great. So. What are we going to do with her today? So she's going to do some co a more complicated move. We're going to do some lunge reach. So. She's going to lunge down and reach, and she's going to use her leg movement to drive more action to that outer hip or this left hip, and then now the right hip. So it's, it's making that hip stronger, right? It's making it stronger, more resilient, and it's putting stretch and tone and strength in an area that really needs it. When we sit a lot, the glute muscles get a lot of stretch, and muscles mm -hmm. that get frequently stretched or overstretched lose their tone, right. lose their contractile so ability. this is ability. tightening it up a little bit. It tightens it up, and, she, and then she's 
change it into another move for the groin, the hips, mm -hmm. the glutes, the shoulders. And you said this changed your, the way your glutes look. Absolutely. In other words, you got a nice butt now, right? It's a little firm. <laughs> Which ladies love, ladies Absolutely. love that. You Don't know? we all? And this was for the, uh, what is this for? So this is for shoulders. Okay. So now this is an isolation move, and she went right in from a complex multi-joint type motion, motion to an isolated motion. And now hit the end of the circle, so we get to stretch the front shoulders and chest mm -hmm. as she goes back, work the side shoulders. Now and the how teeth, many pounds does she have? She has five. She can do more. Mm -hmm. But for this move, when you have a lot of moves together in succession, it goes to be a two minute, three minute set, mm -hmm. you want a lighter weight because we want to keep the technique really nice as she stays in the session for this. this and the, isolated uh, to, the, to yes. that area as well. In this case, the rear shoulders, they take a beating when you sit a lot. Mm -hmm. and then she has balance here. She's on the hip joint. And this is helping her for the future. She's not 70, obviously, but it's when she gets to 70, she'll be a lot better prepared for her body this will be a lot better This lovely sister is beyond her fifth decade, uh -oh. and she can do a lot of stuff. <laughs> she can do a lot of stuff. For example, if I take this, grab the kettlebell, and knock out some snatches. See, it, part of the opportunity with strength, physical development, is developing skills for well, lifting. No, she's not snatching with 26. She's snatching All a, right, Wanda. A, a hand snatch, a dead snatch. OK. She can press it. And what it. is this doing, Sean? It's strength. So this is a dynamic. It has a lot of joints. It's ankle work, it's knee work, hip work, it's, it's like conditioning. It's like body. Shoulders, arms, core. Mm -hmm. you, you can't do this and have a weak, disenfranchised core. Right, right. So now she's doing a push press. So at home, what can they use? They can use dumbbells. So you can snatch with a dumbbell. Mm -hmm. You can pull it. Mm -hmm. You can press it. What about cans, using like Absolutely. cans and this things like This is a like can that. right here. Yeah, yeah. Like this with my can, with my big tomato stew yeah. can. What about gallons of milk and things like that? Gallons of milk with my roll. Uh -huh. But the thing is, when you're at home and you're not accustomed to getting your back organized properly, mm -hmm. you may need to get a couple of pointers to get the good posture and positions you need to be in. But and besides that's easy, that, easy to Google, right? Keep it going. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's an abundant amount of information to right. guide you on the internet and then get it moving. Because, you know, everybody out there, I don't have that kind of money to pay hourly that's to Sean. That's a great point. But... I can Google it and then totally. watch it and do it over and over again because Pulls you don't want anybody pushes. hurting themselves. No, no, no. That'd yeah. be a, that's a wonderful strategy. But these days, because of the internet, we can find out anything, can't we? Be honest, everything I said here is on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every single well, thing. Well, don't tell them that. You still want people to come, <laughs> come see you. Come to the expert. Yeah. <laughs> but but it is phenomenal. wonderful. I mean, it does change your stress. It changes the whole thing. Phenomenal yeah. Fitness is located in Chicago's South Loop at 1450 South Michigan Avenue. You can also find them online at phenomenalfitness.com. Thanks to our guests today, and thanks to you for watching. We're going to see you again next week. In the meantime, we're going to do a little more exercise. All right, all right, Wanda, keep going. You're getting your, you're getting you your exercise Mike. in for today. Thanks a lot, guys. Nonstop.